first, uh, myself first. I'm Robin Davis, and I'm the uh, area director uh, of Sindh and Balochistan, representing the British Council. The way the British Council is organised in Pakistan is we have a country director based in Islamabad with his deputy, and we have area directors based in Lahore and Karachi. So, why a library and why here in the Dolman Mall? Well, we're taking advantage of the last week of uh, the British Deputy High Commission campaign, great campaign, celebrating culture and food and celebrating uh, retail and business. And we are offering the cultural component in this great campaign. So for five days, we've established a library. Why a library? Well, for three reasons. First of all, to advertise the fact that we are opening brand new libraries in Karachi and Lahore. Lahore in, April, in January 2016 and uh, Karachi in April 2016. Secondly, we are showing uh, the people of Karachi that this is not a conventional library, it's a 21st century library. In addition to the books that you see behind us, there will be a digital offer uh, providing to the, to, the, to the members of the libraries a direct link into educational entertainment um, academic uh, archives and resources available uh, in UK digitally and we will do that through uh, uh, e-books, through e-learning, through e-journals and as I said through direct, direct links to universities and to libraries and other seats of uh, information in UK. It'll be a place for debate, it'll be a place for discussions, a place for club meetings, for reading groups, it'll be a very, very welcoming, interactive, lively bubble where people can come, feel at home. It'll be a cool place to be. There'll be a, there'll be a cafe, uh, and it'll be very uh, welcome to all members of Pakistan. Okay, so why a library in order to like promote or advertise British Council's activities towards Pakistan? Why, why a library in short? Uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. Why a library of all places? Libraries associated normally with books, as you see here. Um, well, a library of the 21st century, and UK libraries of the 21st century in particular, offer much more than just books. If you look behind me, you can see uh, children and adults very busy on our so-called digital table. Very much like an Apple store. You go in, there are iPhones, there are iPads, there are laptops, and on each digital uh, device, there is a huge offer of digital resources linked to the UK, uh, educational, um, entertainment, academic resources, archives of information, really uh, adding life to this link between Pakistan and UK in the very areas where children and uh, teenagers and adults of all professions and statuses need this information, readily available at a switch. So. Um, it's, it's peculiar to call it a library, I understand that, but you have to understand the British Council is world-renowned world for its libraries and has been for a long time. Um, when people around the world talk about the British Council, they talk about libraries, these safe areas where they can go and relax, they're cool places to be. We're developing this idea in South Asia. We're, building nine, we're refurbishing nine new libraries in India. We're building three new libraries in Sri Lanka. We're building three new libraries in, uh, in Bangladesh, and here now, in Pakistan, libraries, two yeah, libraries in Pakistan are building from scratch. Um, we closed down our libraries here in 2001, 2002. We're reopening them again now, uh, 15 year, uh, 14 years later, as uh, vastly um, improved and vastly enlarged uh, seats of learning and involvement and uh, a collaboration between the British people and the Pakistan people. And that is the reason we're doing it. So this is a, it's a service for the community, for the people of Pakistan, which, which goes much wider than just books. Okay, and um, if I were to ask you that, uh, okay, a second. Um, how do you think uh, this would Im improve or further ties between England and Pakistan? Do you think it would go a long way, these projects of your, the pop-up library, as well as the libraries to come in the future, the in library in Lahore and Karachi? Do you think it would like um, further or strengthen ties between England and Pakistan in a good way? 
Yes, between the UK and Pakistan. Well, I, yeah, I think so, yes. Um, let's uh, just reflect a little bit on the purpose of the British Council. The purpose of the British Council is to build and spread trust between nations worldwide, in particular, uh, in this case, bilateral relations, culturally, between the UK and Pakistan. Um, in its most abbreviated form, we're looking at building British friendly concerns. So how was knowledge. your response interacting with the Pakistani people? How did you, like, what was your experience? Oh, really good. Um, we opened on, um, on Wednesday morning as the Mall opened at 11 o'clock. And uh, Wednesday and Thursday uh, are quiet days and shopping days in Dolma Manta. So we still had a lot of people, a lot of interest in the library, lots of people asking questions about the IELTS and the exams, uh, looking at the books, uh, asking questions about our digital offer and what it means. Um, we've got a um, We've got a series of books, just as you might have seen at the opening, where there's 20 19th century classic uh, novels, British novels, where, which people can uh, download immediately at the touch of a button uh, onto their mobile telephones and iPads, uh, giving you a flavour of this digital component. So people inquisitive, curious, uh, people have said how nice it is to see the British Council uh, back uh, in very public places in Karachi. Uh, people talk to us about how they used to work and study and live in the library at the turn of the century and at the end of last century. Very pleased to see the British Council back. Um, so I think it's been a nostalgic experience for some people, an education experience for, for especially young people who have enjoyed coming to the Children's Corner. We've had events, we've, had, um, we've allowed people to come and meet some of uh, our participants in our, in our programs in sport and in society. We've had authors introducing their books and holding reading clubs for young children. We've had a young mathematician here today who's been doing impossible problems. He's only nine, eight years old. Uh, so people have really embraced us and come and seen the library as a place to, to be and to hang out and, uh, and that's exactly what we want them to do in our libraries when we open them up in, Cahor in Lahore and Karachi. So, the so will nice to be, back. be places, convening spaces for discussions and, and uh, debate groups and also a space where there'll be a digital offer. When I say the space for digital offer, I'm really talking about the whole of Pakistan. Available to people all over Pakistan will be um, will be the ability to tap in to this vast digital resource of education and cultural and entertainment information, academic research that hitherto has not been available on this scale. Okay. People of, uh, of, of Pakistan, uh, well our message is that it's, uh, it's nice to be back. We very much Lord, look forward to opening our libraries in, uh, in Lahore and Karachi. Lahore, January, Karachi, April next year. Uh, we've had a very warm welcome over the last five days. Um, delighted to see that we've been taken to the hearts of all the shoppers in Dolman Mall, a, uh, a wide variety of, uh, of people and ages and backgrounds. And that's exactly why we're here.